This video will show you how to make a soccer ball in Blender, please watch up to the very end. When you open Blender, you first select and delete the default cube because you won't need it for this tutorial. Press Shift and go to Mesh and add an ICO sphere. Come and click down here then reduce the subdivisions to 1. Now come to the Properties panel and click on Modifier Properties. Add a bevel modifier. Switch it from edges to vertices. Change the width type to percent. Set the width percentage to 100 over 3. You can now see the results we are getting, the shapes are similar to a balls. Minimize this modifier and add an edge split modifier, this will make each face independent from the other. Minimize it and add a subdivision modifier which will give us more geometry. Increase the view levels to 2 and switch it to simple. Add a cast modifier. Remember to minimize the subdiv modifier. Make sure the shape is set to sphere to reinforce the spherical shape of a ball. Set the size to 1. Minimize it and add a solidify modifier. This will help you get some thickness to the ball you can play with to bring out the shapes. Try to view it from inside and activate rim only. Adjust the thickness until it looks good to you. I'll use 0.05 in my case. Minimize it and add another bevel modifier. Increase the segments to about 3. Change width type to percent. Adjust the width percentage until it looks fine to you. Minimize it and add another subdivision modifier to give us a smoother geometry for our ball. You can see it look good but not spherical enough for a ball. Minimize it and add another cast modifier to give it the roundness we are looking for. Now before I show you the easiest way to assign materials to it first show me some love by hitting the like button. To assign materials to it, come to the very first bevel modifier. Go to shading and make the material index too. Come to Material Properties and click on the plus icon to add a material. Click on the plus icon to add another material. You can set one to a black color. Now go to the Material Preview. You can see the result is looking good make sure you shade it smooth. 
You can go ahead to render it now. Thank you very much if you are still watching up to now. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.